is a test recording of the Lumix uh, S52 um, camera that uh, we bought uh, a couple days ago and it arrived yesterday. Um, actually, the day before yesterday, and this is the first uh, test I'm going to be doing. Actually, I've, did, I've done a lot of tests, but can't publish those, so publishing this one. This is how the video quality is. Um, it's I think it's worse than the R8. Um, and the video is still zoomed in, so it's, you know, useless. Uh, at least with this lens, if I get a fisheye lens, I could probably do what I need, I need to do with it. But right now, this can record in 6K at, at the, at the, um, at this kind of zoom low level that I need. But this does not. This is really zoomed in, um, which is not what it should be. This, this needs to be, uh, normal. Um, but it'll only be normal if it's if it's recording at 6K, which can only do 30 FPS. Which, yeah, of course, I don't need 6K 60. I need 4K 60. But the 4K 60 mode does this. No, this doesn't seem that bad, right? Well, let's uh, let's change that. Let's pick up the camera. Now, as I'm moving it around, things are not blurring as much. That's a that's a good thing. That's because it's 60 FPS. If I wasn't doing this, if, I was this, if this was recording at 30 FPS, you'd see a lot of blurring. So, yeah, but if I want to do a video on a speaker, I have to point it at the speaker. Well, this is actually really freaking close. Uh, this is definitely closer um, than a camcorder would um, make this appear. I have to put it, I have to do this. I have to put it about twice as far away uh, to get the same kind of view that I would on a normal camcorder. I need a camcorder, really, to do what I do, and uh, that's really tough because there don't seem to be many, or any camcorders that are good, that are under $4,000, that, uh, you know, shoot 4K60. But naturally my phone can, right? So, it's kind of stupid. Uh, oh, and the ones that do, overheat. I have a whole other video about that. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit right here. This thing does it right. This thing has an internal fan that actually has software controls for the speed, which is pretty good. I just leave it at, at its default, and it seems to do well. Hasn't given me bullshit about it heating up or anything, so this would work if it didn't use 4K crop. So, yeah, not sure what to do about that. Uh, either we're gonna get, an, either we're gonna get a better lens, uh, or a lens that does like. Uh, 20, uh, like it should be a, a 20 to uh, 120 millimeter. That would be perfect for what I do. Uh, right now we have a 24 to 105 millimeter one, um, and yeah, the the lens selection is really expensive and really scarce. There's not a lot of lenses that would work for what I do. Actually, none of them seem to work for what I do. This is the best one from that list. So it's kind of sad. Actually, ham. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. I just needed to turn the lights up. So, I don't know how good the video quality is. Eh, seems alright. I mean, it's, it's good enough. It's good enough for doing videos on computers and stuff. I just can't have it cropped this much. It needs to do 4K60 at an acceptable viewing range. Um, at its minimum. Or else it's completely useless for everything that I do. Um, apart from putting it on a stand and filming something far away, which uh, you're not really going to be doing much of that with this lens anyway, because this can only go up to 105. It does not have a, a good zoom. It has a zoom, yes, but it's really only good enough for taking video of stuff in the same room. Uh, if you try to take video of a man that's like, I don't know, 100, 100 feet away or so, you're an, it's impossible. You're not going to be able to do it. You're going to have to zoom in post. Which is even worse because the four K, because the six K um, mode that this has does not do. Um, it doesn't do sixty FPS, so it's thirty FPS, which is worse. But uh, if you're if you don't have to worry about blurring, which you will, um, it it does it shoots four two it shoots four two zero. That's the 
color subsampling, I believe it's called. Uh, it's how much color detail is being taken away or not, uh, depending on which one you're using. Uh, for example, Apple ProRes, which some iPhones shoot at, um, are the color subsampling of that is uh, 422 usually. Um, and this camera can also shoot uh, H264 422 um, in you know 4K 60 mode. That's what this is shooting at right now. If I wanted to shoot at the um, 6K mode, I'll, I'll actually I, I might I might just uh, you guys might be in luck. I might just switch the mode. The sad thing about this mode, though, is uh, I can't uh, set it to. Let me make sure it's focused. I can't set it to the. Um, I cannot set it. Oh yeah, I can't set it uh, to auto mode. So I would have to change all the settings per the manual. I don't think that's actually how it is. I think this is. This is. Um, that looks really weird. This almost looks fish eye, but that's just because this is four, uh, th uh, three by two. Uh, I don't even know what I, what I was saying. It doesn't matter. It's good enough if it didn't crop, because this is good. This view is excellent. This is, I think, as good as the other Panasonic camera we had that was absolute dog crap. This one's actually pretty good, and uh, the viewing angle is pretty excellent. It looks a little fish eye, and uh, of course, if the freaking if it was 16 by 9, yeah, I'd be pretty freaking fish eye. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to upload this video in 8K, which is going to take forever to process. I'm going to pre-open Resolve so I can edit this right after. So, yeah, this is the Panasonic Lumix uh, S5 II, not the S5 II X, that, that can do actually do ProRes. Um, yeah, we didn't want to pay an extra 300 bucks for that because we're probably not going to need that. And we would have to use an SSD like this. And I don't even know if this would work, because this is a Thunderbolt SSD. I know it has USB 3 compatibility, but only to a point. And maybe not to the point where it would be compatible with this camera. So, yeah. We also bought a, um, a Canon. Yes, Canon. I'm still not over that. Uh, we, we bought... We, we bought... I said in the last video that I wasn't... We weren't going to buy um, a GX10, which is... is um, Jesus. Yeah, is Canon's first and last consumer camcorder that can shoot in 4K60. It just turned seven years old, which is really freaking old. Uh, none of the warranties are going to work, but um, we're going to get one, see if it works, and probably return it. If it does work, and if it's not crap quality, like if it's the same quality as the uh, HFG60 that I had before, just, you know, in 4K60, I'll keep it. I'm just going to use that. I'm so sick of buying cameras. I just want something to do what I love and have it work and have that to be, be the way it is. Um, and if it's not this, hopefully it's going to be the G, uh, sorry, the GX10. Um, so yeah, will this, sh will this crap have an end? Fuck if I know. Thanks for watching. These are so close up shot actually. That's hella goofy. Huh, small editor's note. So, um, I'm sitting here, uh, with my footage on my computer here, and, uh, my computer can't keep up with this footage. <laughs> Which, uh, is, is about right for this hardware. I'm running a, an RTX 2070 Super, which is from 2019, and it's a mid-range card, so, yeah. Uh, oh my god, I did not realize it was... Maxing out my G my VRAM, holy wiener. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm not... <laughs> There's a spider on my microphone. I hate gear worry. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, it doesn't look like I'll be able to edit on this machine, but that's fine because I'm not really intending to edit on this machine very often. This is just my gaming PC where I do some game footage editing, but when I do this type of editing, I'm probably going to use my... Um, <clears throat> my 20 crap my 20 yeah my 20 crap no my 2023 m uh m2 pro mac mini for it because that's where all the storage is uh this is just coming off my ssd but uh, yeah so yeah this is a train wreck of a pc 
and it's Windows, so it's, it was already a train wreck to begin with without even doing anything with it. But yeah, so I'm I might just use this camera for a few videos. But if the GX10 is any better, I'll just use that. Um, so yeah. Let's see if I can do literally anything of worth. Okay, this actually looks worse. This looks way worse than the... Why does that look so bad? Okay, this looks way worse than the... Uh, whatever it was called. <laughs> the R8 that I tested. And... Uh, this is at full brightness, so... Maybe it's just because... Maybe it's just because I don't have focus on my face. I don't know. This just this image just seems really noisy for no reason. I don't know. I, my I turned on the lights all the way, so I don't know what the problem is. Let's see, let's check the close-up shot. Come on, catch up. Come on, put some mustard in. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's right here. Come on. There we go. Okay, no, uh, how about right here? It's not focused. Uh, that's worse than my phone. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try, uh, I guess I'll try out the GX10 and see if that's better than this, because this doesn't actually seem very good in terms of video quality. Yeah, sure, it's better than some iPhones, but my iPhone 12 Pro, which is four years old, by the way, outperforms this. Um, and this is even 6K, so, and this is the full sensor, so I'm giving this all the chances I can get. Uh, you know, full brightness uh, on my lights in my office. Like, this this should be doing absolutely excellent, and it's doing this. So, there's a chance that I don't know how to use this camera, but to be honest, if I have to learn how to use a camera, then it's already lost. Um, just because... Like, it's not even a skill issue, it's just, if I don't have a camera that I can just set to record and have it do the thing properly, then it's not worth my time. I need to make videos. I don't need to dick around with a camera for five minutes trying to figure out if the scene is set up properly, because then I would have to record um, see if, to see if the scene is, pro is correct, and then I have to go to a computer, import the footage, see if it's correct there, or else I can't see properly, because this looked fine on the camera. But you know, on the computer, it just looks bad. Like, look at all that noise. Like, I know that's supposed to be blurred, and it is blurred. But there's, it's just so goddamn noisy. So, yeah. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. Um, the Canon did great. If only it didn't overheat. So, yeah. That's kind of ass. I'm disappointed again. Let's see if the GX10 does better or worse next time. Thanks for watching.